Terraflex's front-locking hubs for the JL, JT, and JK Jeeps are designed to be a maintenance-free component. However, the hub does contain moving parts, so if you have hubs locked quite often, then occasional servicing may be needed. This video shows the correct procedure for servicing the hub and spindle. These parts can be replaced when excessive wear is evident. For more information about replacement parts, contact the Terraflex customer service team. Regardless of your experience working on vehicles, please watch this video in its entirety before attempting to service your hub and spindle. Servicing can be done at home, but if you are uncomfortable with doing any aspect of this procedure, please take it to a shop that is familiar with servicing axles. Begin the process by lifting the vehicle off the ground and removing the wheels. Remove the brake calipers and rotors. Make sure you do not hang the brake caliper by the brake lines. Remove the ABS sensor. Blow the dust out of the way to avoid getting it into the ABS sensor hole. Remove the hub cover. Wipe away the grease as you remove each part to help prevent making too big of a mess. Remove the large retaining ring. Remove the bolt and disengagement rings. Remove the stub shaft retaining ring. Remove the piece with the outer spline and then the spring. There's also a spacer on the stub shaft that comes off. Use a hub nut socket and remove the lock nut. Remove the washer. Remove the inner hub nut. It should be loose enough to just spin out with your hand. The hub should now come off the spindle. There's still a bearing inside, so don't let that fall out. Clean the spindle off. Inspect the spindle. Look for any excessive wear or damage. Clean the area where the stub shaft meets the spindle. Remove the spindle by removing the four bolts connecting it to the knuckle. Slide the spindle off. Be careful not to pull the shaft out of the housing. If the spindle doesn't want to move, hit the end of the shaft with a dead blow hammer and the spindle should come loose. Clean up the stub shaft as best you can. There are two seals and a washer that will come off and need to be cleaned. In this video, we are installing a new spindle and hub. The process for new parts or adding grease to the existing parts is mostly the same. You should inspect all the parts before installing them, even if they are new. The first thing you want to do is make sure that there is a lot of grease packed inside the hub and packed in the hub bearing. Use CV axle grease. Heavy bearing grease may make the hub hard to turn, especially in cold weather. Inside the hub is a valley between two high points. Pack this with grease until the grease is flush with the two high points. The bearing should also be well packed with grease. Set the bearing into the hub. The wide end goes towards the outside. Add more grease and then even more grease. You should feel like you're putting an excessive amount of grease into the hub. On the back of the spindle is a bearing. Pack some grease into this as well. There is a seal that will go on top of the bearing. It needs to be packed with grease. However, do not install it at this time. To prevent it from tearing, we will put it onto the shaft before setting it into place. We are now going to build up the spindle, hub, and slimlock components on the table. You can also do this on the vehicle, but it's simply easier to do on the table. Start with the spindle. Put a thin layer of grease on it. Add grease to the back of the hub over the seal surface. Slide the hub onto the spindle. The hub bearing will likely pop up, make sure it's seated properly.
Install the inner nut. This has an indexing pin that needs to point out. Finger tighten it for now. Move the assembly to a vise. Lay down some rags to protect the finish. Tighten the inner nut to 50 foot-pounds by spinning the hub, and then back it off a quarter turn. Install the lock ring onto the nut. There's a keyway to keep the nut from turning. If the pin doesn't line up with a hole in the lock ring and you need to adjust the inner nut, always go tighter. The holes in the lock ring are offset, so you can also just flip it over to get the pin to line up. Here's a better angle of the pin and keyway on the lock ring. Install the outer lock nut. Tighten this to 150 foot-pounds. Install the components for the slim lock assembly. Place the spacer on top of the spindle. Set the spring into place. Place the outer and inner spline pieces into the hub. Make sure you coat them with grease beforehand. Install the disengagement ring and bolt ring. Make sure the word OUT is visible on the bolt ring. If it's not, you have the bolt ring upside down. Install the retaining ring. Install the dust seal, spindle washer, and spindle bearing seal onto the shaft. Make sure the open end of the spindle bearing seal is facing out, as shown in the video. Put red thread locker onto the four spindle bolts and set them into the knuckle. Slide the spindle slash hub assembly onto the stub shaft. It should slide freely on and off the stub shaft without needing to be forced. If you find that it does not slide freely, please stop and contact the TerraFlex customer service team. Put the spindle bearing seal on over the spindle. Having the bolts on beforehand will help you line things up quickly. Tighten down the bolts to 100 foot-pounds. Use a pry bar to pop the shaft out a bit, and then install the small retaining ring onto the stub shaft. Place the O-rings onto the cap. The outer O-ring can just go on, but put a little grease on the inner O-ring. The inner O-ring goes on the dial, and then the dial goes into the bezel. Attach the cap to the hub using the little screws. Reattach the ABS sensor. Switch the hub to unlocked and make sure it spins freely. Reinstall the brakes and you're done.